Hey everyone, Frank from the Old Town Coleman Center. In a previous video, I told you that there were a couple of things on Coleman lanterns and stoves that you probably didn't want to mess with unless you absolutely had to. The first one was the check valve, and in that first video, I showed you how to clean it and remove it if you absolutely had to. Well, the other device is called a tip cleaner stem. A tip cleaner stem is a small lever or handle in the center of your lantern that you rotate and it operates the generator gas tip cleaner. So sit back, enjoy the intro, and I'll be right back to discuss the tip cleaner stem. This is, a valve. <laughs> this is a valve assembly from a 200A single mantle lantern and I'm going to use it today to show you how all this works. When it says tip cleaner stem, it means you're cleaning the generator gas tip. And the gas tip is at the very end of the generator. There is a really, really small hole there and there is a small needle inside of the generator that when you rotate that handle, it goes up and down and it plunges that hole clean. That little itty bitty needle pokes up and down through that hole and cleans it. And all the impurities in the gasoline that are burnt, um, they collect inside that gas tip and after a while it will clog it up. Well, this needle, the intent is to keep that hole in there clean. And that is what the gas tip cleaner does. So this is the device inside of the generator that cleans the gas tip. To make this move, we have the tip cleaner stem and the eccentric block. You can see that's the device going up and down inside of the valve. An eccentric block turns rotational motion into linear motion, and that's what exactly what this is doing. When you rotate that, that goes up and down, and that plunges out the gas tip. Coleman made a 220B lantern, 228B, and this is, although a later version of it, this is what the tip cleaner assembly for that lantern looked like. And this is for a 220B through a 220F. It's a great design because it is separate from the valve assembly. And you see this junction here, you have two nuts. This is a junction where you can actually pull this assembly apart without having to mess with the packing that is inside of that nut. So this is a great design. Uh, after they finished with the 220F and went to the 220H, they went back to their old ways of putting the packing inside of the body assembly and making it really difficult to pull things apart. This is the tip cleaner from a 220H lantern. Now, back to the single mantle one. This is what a tip cleaner looks like. This is this stem right here coming out and there's that nut. This is the stem. And this is one I pulled out of a lantern. You can see it broke the packing inside. This is what a reproduction one that is being sold currently by oldcolemanparts.com looks like. So this is what a new tip cleaner stem looks like. This is obviously an old part that they are no longer made. They're kind of hard to find nowadays. And that's what a NOS tip cleaner stem looks like. That's so this really last awesome. December, I, I made a Christmas video. A few lanterns sitting in the snow burning. And one of them was this Christmas lantern from, it's 200A from 1951. I was going to sell this lantern here and I started working with it and I realized that it had a problem. And the problem is, ironically, the tip cleaner stem is bad. So if I go clockwise, I can turn it all day long. But if I try to go counterclockwise, you can see it locks right there and I can't do anything with it. So either the tip cleaner is bad or the eccentric block has uh, been damaged. I'm not sure what's going on with it right now, but I thought what a, what a perfect way to make a video about replacing the tip cleaner stem to have one that actually didn't work. So give me a few seconds. I'm gonna tear this guy apart, pull the, the uh, valve out of it, and we'll pull the tip cleaner and you can see how to do it.
So I have the valve out of the lantern, and again, I can go counter or clockwise just fine, but if I try to go counterclockwise, it, it is still binding a little bit. Um, now that the generator's off, that tells me it's probably something wrong with the eccentric block. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to pull the tip cleaner stem out of a single mantle lantern valve. Um, again, if you have a 220B through a 220F, you don't have to worry about it because the entire assembly comes apart and you don't have to worry about pulling out this packing. Um, if you have a 220 HJ or K, you would have to do what I'm doing here, but this is the part that you would need. Um, so what we're going to do is there is a graphite packing on the other side of this nut and it is compressed inside here and after so many years of being compressed it's locked in there. So if you undo this nut you're not going to get anywhere because you're not going to be able to pull this lever out. It's just not going to come out for you. So what, the way you do it is you heat this area really well, changes the properties of that graphite packing and it make it a little slicker and it should pop right out for you. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to put it in my vise. I'm going to heat it up with a propane torch and then I'm going to pull it out. Uh, this is a 5 16 nut and you just take it out. And again, it'll come out without, that lever will not come out. And this is where people have most of the problems. They, they do this and then they expect the whole thing to come out and, and it won't. It just won't come out. So we're going to take propane torch and we're going to heat it up a little bit and then it'll pop right out for us. Okay, I got her nice and hot. I should be able to grab this thing with a pair of pliers and just yank it right out. And there she is. Um, now we can pull the eccentric block out. It's going to be ripping hot, so I'm not going to be grabbing on it. It looks like the back of it's bowed a little bit too much, maybe. The jaws have opened up, and that was what was wrong with it. It just wasn't interfacing real well with the end of the tip cleaner stem. So that's probably what's wrong with it. I do have a new one of both. There's my new eccentric block and the new tip cleaner stem, and we will put those back in here in just a few minutes when this thing cools down for me. Be right okay, back. she's cooled down a little bit now. I can touch it. So I'm going to replace the original stem and block in this, and I'm going to replace them with new ones. I'm going to rebuild this lantern again later so I'm just going to put this in there tight enough for you can see that it's going to work right. So the eccentric block has to go all the way down and it's kind of difficult to hold on to. We need to get this cutout down to the center of the uh, horizontal part of the valve and to do that it's really difficult to get it all the way down there. You can see that the top is barely sticking out. What you can do is take an old generator and you put the tip cleaning rod in the hole there and you can lower it down inside where you can actually get to it. Now I'm going to take the new tip cleaner stem and I'm going to insert it and I'm going to slowly turn it while I'm turning the nut so I get it to engage properly. And then I'm going to take a 5 16 inch wrench and I'm going to start tightening it down. And this is where the packing will be brought up against the uh, valve body and it will compress it and that will create your seal where it will not leak. And you would want to tighten this up to a point where you can tell that there is resistance of you turning it. It's not too sloppy but it's not too difficult to do either. Um, I think I got it just about perfect right there. So as you can see, I can turn it both ways now. It's going nice and smooth, and it looks like it's repaired. Okay, I have one more thing to show you, and we'll be done with this video. Okay. 
Okay, these are the three tip cleaner stems that I've been showing you today. This is the, the old one that's been destroyed. This is the one I just pulled out of this lantern. And this is the reproduction that you can get from oldcolemanparts.com. You'll notice that the levers are all pointing down and that the tips of the stems are also all pointing down. Well, let me show you this one. This looks the same, but as you can see, the stem is pointing down but the bend in the end of the stem is pointing up. But it looks the same. That's because that is not a tip cleaner stem. That is a lighting lever from a Coleman stove. And you have seen, everybody has seen this, and that is this lever right here. This lever does not operate the tip cleaner. Obviously, the tip cleaner is down here in the end of the gas tip, and on a stove, when you unscrew the valve, it pulls the tip cleaner out, and then when you put it back in, it sends it back in, and that's how the tip is clean. What this lever does is it controls the needle in the block down inside of the valve, and I will take this out and show you what I'm talking about. So this is the valve and generator out of this 425B stove. And as you can see, here is the fuel and air tube. So if you take the fuel and air tube off, you will see that there is the needle that goes inside of it. It's not part of it on a stove like it is on a lantern. This is called the needle. It is attached to the block. And when you turn the tip cleaner, it moves. It goes up and down. So the reason that this stem is with the, with the lever down, the controller is up, is because on the top of a stove it says up to light, down to burn. So when you turn this thing up, you are sending this rod downward, which blocks the bottom of your fuel and air tube, and you get more air than fuel, and that's how you light them. And then down to burn, you want to open it up, so when you go down, the rod goes up, and it pulls out of the bottom of the fuel and air tube and you're able to pull in more fuel than air. So that's how that works. But what I wanted to show you was the stem. They look absolutely identical except for that one thing. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And you can find out how all of this works at www.oldtowncoleman.com. Until next time, keep them burning.